about 100 acres in Mexico, just south of the California border, once a playground to Hollywood stars. But the site today is home to dozens of orphan kids and one very committed, very dedicated couple. A look tonight at their lives and how they became the most important people to children whose most significant memory was of being forgotten. Lynn and I have been down here about five and a half years now, and uh, we started with about 35 kids. Today we have 92 children. Giving haircuts, making the birthday cakes, putting on band-aids is a full-time job around here. Some are orphaned, some are abandoned. A lot of our kids are here simply because their parents can no longer afford them. Before this property became an orphanage, this building and the surrounding property was the Pasadena Gun Club, and it was a Hollywood getaway. Uh, John Wayne, Clark Abel, a lot of big wigs would stay down here and hunt quail back in the canyon. When we came in about five and a half years ago, that was the condition the building was in. It was basically termites holding hands that was keeping the building up. We kind of approached it, um, I joke about it, taking over a bankrupt company. We kind of approached it like that. Vamos a comer. Most of our kids um, that are here have at least one sibling. Those that don't are kind of feel sometimes left out maybe. and. Um, especially if they don't have family members that come and visit. I get asked a lot about what the hardest part of my job is, and occasionally it's when kids are being dropped off who know they're being dumped in an orphanage for the first time. I know that today that child is never going to forget. We have a lot of kids that they, they'll call each other brother. They go out to one another, and they watch out for one another. And they have these yeah. girls have been playing for the last 12 hours. They're all exhausted, busy being kids. Our older boys' dorm has nine boys all going through puberty right now. <laughs> There's a challenge. If someone had told me 10 years ago that I would be living in Mexico with 92 kids, um, I would have told them they were absolutely crazy. Um, before I got involved in this, my idea of roughing it was slow room service. It was a hobby that kind of took over our lives. Originally, um, Lynette had no interest in me because I hadn't been bitten by this yet. And she saw me as kind of your typical Orange County yuppie at the time. Yeah, I, I never went out with him until he had a heart from Mexico. And, uh, this one is. We're here because we love it. And we know there are not a lot of people who can say they really love what they do. And we're incredibly thankful to be in a place where we are. Most of our kids are here with us very long term, mm -hmm. and if they are able to go home, if it's more than likely a family member. Some of the kids that really get attached to, and it's it's hard. You know, you've been a big part of their lives for so many years, and then then they're so little that they'll probably never remember you. Can't imagine us going back to the uh, quote unquote real world. It would be hard. It would definitely be hard.